It's your fairy godmother mint and welcome back to the mint coven today we are going to be talking about another one of those beautiful wind elementals we're talking about some air fairies we're getting into a little bit of american history as well when it comes to the fey realm the good people the wee folk the little people today i'm really excited to talk about one of those elementals that people may not be very much aware of whenever i talk about fairies or uh otherworldly beings in general, people have little to no knowledge that these beings exist all over the world, all over the globe, not just in one particular place, where a lot of people assume when you're talking about the Fae, they assume that you're talking about creatures of European origin. They are more popularized, a lot of times people are, but most of the time I am talking about otherworldly beings from all over the entire globe because they do exist all over the entire globe. There are legends in every single culture about the Fae. Every single culture. They have different names, they have uh, different titles, they have different types of descriptions and things of that nature. But they all fall under the same umbrella and it's really interesting to be able to talk about all of them. Before we jump into it, of course, since it is the beautiful month of December of gift giving, I want to share another small business with you all. Since we are talking about air fairies and air elementals, I thought what a perfect segue to talk about beautiful incense. I have these gorgeous incense sticks. They are natural, they're all natural, hand rolled incense from a family owned company. And ugh, you do not know about the emotions that are brought up in me every time I talk to anyone who it's a part of a family owned business and they smell incredible. They come in these beautiful boxes absolutely gorgeous should i give you like a little sexy little little sexy little like opening with some like smooth jazz or some some yeah let's do that Two scents that I received are Rose and Nag Champa, and Nag Champa is one of my favorite scents just in general on the planet on Earth that we live on. It smells so nice, packed with so much care, and it just, the packaging is so beautiful and everything has its place and its little card. It has so much information and so many words of wisdom just in the incense package. Like, I, I love it so much. So of course, link will be in the description box if you want to support a family owned business and receive some really beautiful, gorgeously handmade incense. You can get some for yourself, get some for your friends, get some for your mom, get some for your dad, whatever. It's a wonderful holiday gift and you get so many incense sticks in these packs. Like I, they'll last you for such a long time. So link in the description, like I said, and the reason why I really wanted to showcase this company on this video is because that's the elemental that I'm talking about today is Cyclone Woman. Cyclone Woman is such an interesting type of elemental spirit. I love learning about her, even though there isn't much information about her. And also she's not always depicted as a woman. Sometimes it's Cyclone Man or um, Tornado Man or Tornado Woman. And also people tend to believe that at some point um, this spirit doesn't even have to have a gender at all. The spirit may not even have had a gender to begin with, but sometimes people will, you know, um, give a gender to spirits or to um, elementals or to energies just to make it easier for them to understand or whatever, you know what I mean? But when I learned about her, I learned about her as Cyclone Woman, although we can just say Cyclone Spirit as well. Cyclone Spirit is an elemental that is a part of native mythology. Um, Cyclone Spirit is a part of Lenape, Minsi Lenape culture, also a part of Blackfoot culture. There are certain tribes that have really interesting legends behind 
tornadoes and behind twisters and cyclone spirit is one of those legends and some people believe that it was once a girl a young girl who was caught up in a tornado and who who um kind of embodied or became the face of cyclone spirit some people believe that it was just an elemental created by the great spirit in order to have something in control of cyclones or kind of embody the energy of the cyclone so that people could identify them. And those are two of the most common sort of uh, origin stories for Cyclone Spirit. And what I find really interesting about Cyclone Spirit is, um, you guys know I'm a storm worker. I work with storms. I work with lots of storm energy and I work with lots of chaos nature energy. And it's a really interesting sort of thing when you work with those energies, when you are fully aware that the earth has her own spirits and her own uh, you know, way of pushing and moving life. There's just a certain understanding that comes along with destruction. You know, things are destroyed. The earth can destroy lots of things, you know, and working with cyclone spirit or working with any kind of elemental that is a natural spirit that does have that spirit of destruction, there is an understanding that comes along with knowing that this is something that's out of our control. This is something that we cannot control. This is something that moves and pushes earth and life the way that it sees fit. And so the relationship that people have with Cyclone Spirit is that of something that you accept and love and recognize and that you don't hold any bitterness or anger toward because it is something that cannot be controlled. You know, it's something that is natural. It's not a part of our human control cycle. Like we cannot control this thing. This is something that we sort of have to uh, respect and bow down to. So people had a really uh, wonderful relationship with Cyclone Spirit because this is an entity of destruction and of clearing. Any kind of wind or air fairy or wind or air elemental is one of cleansing, of clearing, of removing something that doesn't belong in a space, of sweeping things out, of pushing things out of an area that needs to be pushed out of an area. This is something that just happens. This is kind of like the tower card. You know, you get it and you're like, crap, I didn't do something in particular that needed to be done and now it's being done for me in a very destructive sort of manner. Not to say that Cyclone Spirit comes in and washes away crap that you didn't take care of. There is that element of movement that just happens whether or not we want it to or not, you know what I mean? It's something that is just happening and that we have to sort of respect and understand and sometimes we have to rebuild afterwards. And that is kind of the relationship that people have with Cyclone Spirit. Although the Lenape people will say that Cyclone Spirit, this does not destroy their homes. They have an understanding and a respect, you know, they will kind of move along past them, which I think is a really interesting sort of legend, a really interesting sort of mythology. One of the ways that I work with this sort of um, powerful, destructive wind and air energy is through smoke and through spilling dust. The smoke of incense is something that people will often relate to hair, which is another thing that people relate to Cyclone Spirit is, you know, when you see a tornado and it's like whipping around and it's got like the debris or dirt tendrils that swirl around the tornado, those were seen as hair, as the hair of the Cyclone Woman was whipping around in the tornado and you can just see her like raven locks spinning around the tornado. <laughs> Huge, like powerful woman just spinning with all of her might and sweeping things up and getting things shaken around and and creating like a destructive but clearing path and moving things away from one area and putting them in another you know just really shaking things up and creating friction creating movement and i see that in the way that the smoke tendrils kind of swirl out of incense, the way that they curl around and the way that they swirl around and dance on the wind is something really interesting to meditate on, especially if you are clearing or moving things out of your path. Really great to work with Cyclone Spirit when you are um, doing a road opener spell or an unblocking spell or um, even a really good cleansing spell, especially after something really destructive that's happened in your life where you need to kind of regroup after that. Also, when you're feeling stagnation, when you feel like you need things to be... It's so dark in here all of a sudden. <laughs> it's so dark outside. <laughs> also, when you feel like you are stuck or you're in a space where 
you know, things are not moving along for you, you feel like you're trapped in a situation, or you feel like you don't know which direction to go in, working with Cyclone Spirit can help to shake things up, to move things around, to break up that like plaque that's in your life and just kind of force things in a direction. Very destructive energy, very rough sort of energy that is kind of like a last resort sort of energy to work with, especially since, like I said, there is a destructive nature to it. So if you need things moved, if you need things shook up, you know what I mean? In a very like abrupt sort of displacing manner, Cyclone Spirit, wonderful for that. If you're feeling like you need a huge change in your life, that's when you work with Cyclone Spirit. That's when you, you know, ask for that energy to come in and remove things out of your path, get things out of the way, shake things up and make a huge change in your life. That is when that energy is to be called on. Otherwise, having a beautiful respect for that kind of energy is really nice. Having a good understanding for the way that nature just sort of does things on its own without the help of humans, in spite of humans and what humans have done. Nature will push and move forward and make things happen no matter what. Having an understanding and a respect for that is really important to me um, when you're on a nature-based path. I think working with that sort of destructive air energy can be really empowering. It can be very, very strengthening. It can make you feel like you can withstand absolutely anything. I think it's really important for people um, especially when you're on your healing journey to work with energies that makes you feel strong and that make you feel powerful So I definitely recommend Cyclone Spirit for that if you're in that space where you need that that build up Absolutely Cyclone Spirit. I have to share many many more native legends and native fairy folklore with you I most definitely will that is the fairy folklore that I grew up with and it's such a huge world that we haven't tapped into and like I said just because something isn't called a fairy doesn't mean that it isn't a part of the same realm. I don't know why we would think that we are so separate as people because we are not. We're all on this planet. We all experience these amazing things and we all have different words for them because we are all from different parts of the world. So it makes complete sense to have elemental spirits everywhere that there are elements, which is literally all over the globe. <laughs> I hope you're all having a beautiful beginning to December. Sorry this video is so dark. It's so dark outside. I hope you're all having a beautiful December and I will see you all in the next video, which is Friday. Link in the description for this amazing incense. 10 out of 10 recommend. Have a gorgeous, magical evening. Mwah!